It's winter. Nature is in a dormant state. All the grass is dead and I can only inhale so much of it to keep me going. I need to touch grass. Now. But there is none outside. So I might as well see how fast you can touch grass in every mainline Mega Man Battle Network game for the Game Boy Advance. The results may surprise you. So starting off with the first Battle Network, Lan needs to pick up the personal terminal before we can leave his bedroom to go to school. Going outside immediately starts a cutscene in which Lan walks over grass, but that's really the game touching the grass, not us, so we must continue. At school we have to talk to Lan's friend Dex to do the tutorial before we can leave the prison that is the brick and mortar school. The tutorial consists of three fights. The first two have fixed draws and the third has a randomized draw. I got two mini bombs, which is pretty good. Now we can leave our cell and go outside and touch that grass. I got a time of 1 minute and 49 seconds. Up next is B and 2, which is definitely the shortest one. We start off in the school and need to talk to Dex again to progress, only this time we're supposed to go home for the tutorial, so we simply walk outside and touch those sweet green pixels. Took me 17 seconds. B and 3 is my favorite, so I was most excited to play this one again. I'm using the Japanese version of White because it's the quickest one I had access to. Lan and crew start off in Scilab, a different prison. We need to talk to everyone in the room before we can start the mandatory tutorial. The first two fights are exactly the same as in BN1, but this time the third fight also has a fixed draw. This battle teaches us about the add function, which forces us to go one turn without chips. A single turn lasts 8.5 seconds. In that time, we can bust to the front and back metars down to 30 HP and take them all out with two shotguns on the next turn, which is the fastest way on average to deal with them. We can then talk to our three friends, leave the school, and touch the good stuff. I completed the run in 2 minutes and 17 seconds. Up next is B and 4, the one everyone seems to have the strongest opinions about. Some people worship this game, and some hate it. This time, we begin in Lan's room, and although his carpet looks like grass, it is not. Another forced tutorial. Again, the first two fights are the same and the third is different. It highlights a new mechanic, the full synchro, but who cares about that? We need grass. We need to get a recuff patch from the internet before being allowed to leave. So we collect the money from Daddy and jack in. Mega Man must get to the shopkeep in ACDC Area 3. On the way, it is possible to get a few random encounters. Luckily, I made it through with zero. Returned the part to Dad, skipped a cutscene, and got to touch those sweet monocotyledons. It took me 2 minutes and 59 seconds. Up to being 5 now, like before we have to talk to Mom, who asks us to give her friend's Navi a stew recipe. That Navi is located in Kitchen Comp off of ACDC Area 2. We also have to run from encounters through here, or you could fight them if you want to. I ran from all of these fights. We tell Mom we delivered her famous recipe and we're able to head outside and immediately touch grass. I did it in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Being 6 though presents an... Interesting dilemma. It opens with the sad news that Lan and Mega Man are moving from ACDC Town to Central Town. Even sadder than this is, while there is grass here, we cannot physically move over, i.e. touch it. We have to go through another tutorial while exploring our new hometown. Our next destination is the school, where of course there is no grass. After defeating Blastman and figuring out where this pelican came from, we arrive in Seaside Town town most notable for its high quality water and water based technologies. Water is necessary for life, so maybe there is some grass here, but nope, no grass. After taking care of Diveman at Seaside, Lan is asked to be a witness and testify in court to attempt to put Diveman's operator, Captain Blackbeard, behind bars. The courthouse is located in Greentown, a town known for its love and care of nature. It's decorated with beautiful flowers, trees, and of course, grass. But again! We can't move our avatar over to these pixels. There is no green grass to touch in Green Town, which is absolutely crazy. What the f***? So we put Blackbeard away and start our next scenario, in which our dad is framed for tampering with the judge tree, the mechanical tree that is somehow able to lock people away like rats in cages. Our next dungeon is here in the judge tree. The gimmick here is when you step on a panel, finally, that gorgeous green grass will appear. But wait, I hear you say. This is in the cyber world, which is not the real world, so technically, we did not touch the grass. And to that I say, aha, look again, my friend. At the start of the judge tree, this prog right here informs us of the mechanics of this dungeon. He refers to these tiny green squares as grass. Not cyber grass, but grass. And that constitutes a win in my book. 
At this point, we're about halfway through the game, so this took me 1 hour, 16 minutes, and 13 seconds. I took this timing from an old PB. For all the sticklers still saying that the grass on the internet doesn't count, there is no grass in the next town, which is Sky Town, a giant floating city. I suppose you can plant grass up there, but no one did. Land can't touch grass until he goes back to ACDC Town, closer to 2 hours into the run. And finally, ranking them from slowest to fastest, we got BN6 at the longest run by far. BN5, BN4, 3, 1, and then 2. I feel better after touching all that grass. Hopefully spring will come sooner than we think and life can begin anew. Until then, you should touch virtual grass. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all that jazz, and let me know what your favorite looking grass is from a video game. Thanks for watching.